today I'm going to be talking about the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox is a perplexing question that arises from the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life existing and the lack of concrete evidence for it. It is a thought experiment that challenges our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The explanation for the Fermi Paradox. The paradox is named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who during a casual lunch conversation in 1950 pondered the question, where is everybody? Given the vastness of the universe, the billions of stars, and the billions of years it has existed, the likelihood of intelligent life developing elsewhere seems statistically probable. Yet despite these odds, there's no undeniable proof of extraterrestrial civilizations. Potential explanations. Numerous theories have been proposed to address the Fermi paradox. Here are a few of the most prominent explanations. The first one is that we are alone. Perhaps intelligent life is extremely rare and we are the only technological advanced civilization in the galaxy. Second explanation is that civilizations are too far apart. The immense distance between stars makes interstellar travel and communication practically impossible, preventing contact. Next, civilizations destroy themselves. Perhaps civilizations inevitably reach a point in technological advancement where they destroy themselves before establishing contact. They are already here, but we don't know it. This theory suggests that extraterrestrial life is among us already, but we are just unaware of it. They are out there, but we haven't looked hard enough. Our search for extraterrestrial intelligence may still be in its infancy, and we haven't yet detected signals or evidence of other civilizations. Now the psychology behind the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox is not just a scientific puzzle, but it also stirs a deep psychological response. Let's dive into some of the psychological implications. First, you have the anthropocentric bias. Solicism. The belief that one's own mind is the only thing that is surely known to exist. This can lead to assumptions that Earth is unique in harboring intelligent life. Confirmation bias. We tend to seek out information that confirms our existing beliefs. If we believe that we are alone, we might overlook or dismiss evidence that suggests otherwise. Number two, fear of the unknown. The existential dread. The vastness of the universe and the possibility of extraterrestrial life can evoke feelings of insignificance and fear of the unknown. Terror management theory. This theory suggests that humans are aware of their mortality and this awareness motivates defensive psychological mechanisms. The idea of extraterrestrial life could be seen as a threat to our own worldview and sense of self. Number three, hope and wonder. Curiosity. The Fermi paradox sparks a profound sense of curiosity about the universe and our place within it. Search of meaning. Many people find comfort and inspiration in the possibility of extraterrestrial life, suggesting a deep cosmic purpose. Number four, cognitive dissonance. Conflicting beliefs. The paradox creates a cognitive dissonance between the statistical probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of evidence. This can lead to mental discomfort and a desire to resolve the contradiction. Number five, social and cultural factors. Collective beliefs. Societal beliefs and cultural norms can influence our perceptions of the Fermi paradox. Media influence. Popular culture and media representations of aliens can shape our attitude and expectations. Ultimately, the psychological impact of the Fermi paradox is complex and multifaceted. It reflects our deepest fears, hopes, and questions about our existence in the universe.